Guys, something a little different today, which has come at a time when I was thinking of having a bit of a clear out. Now, back in the day, DVDs were the ultimate in quality viewing material. We all used to talk about DVD quality. It really was the best at the time. Alas, this has been superseded by HD, UHD, 4K, 8K, whatever. But what do you do with all of those discs that you bought? Now, they could be bought discs. They could be discs that you've copied your own material, your own videos, your own family photographs, whatever. What do you do with them all? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, you have a whole room almost dedicated to DVD storage. What do you do? Well, this video, as I said, is timely as DigiRT reached out to me and asked me if I would review their MacX DVD Ripper Pro software. So I thought, yes, this is my answer. Rip these DVDs and store them on my NAS drive. Now, I know what you're thinking. When you're looking at hundreds or thousands of DVDs, which some people do have thousands of DVDs, it's gonna take forever. But once it's done, guys, it's done. But having some cool software to help you achieve that task is definitely gonna make this a lot easier. So guys, let's jump onto the computer and see this software in action. So first off, you can see the interface and it's a pretty simple but powerful interface. There are a couple of menu options at the top, but essentially you can either load a physical DVD into a DVD drive, or you can load an ISO image of a DVD from your hard drive, or you can open a folder and load some image files or DVD movie files. So pretty extensive. Now I'm gonna load a physical disc. And in this case, I have chosen a classic. It's one of the Terminator films. Now you can see here, once loaded, all of the available titles load with the corresponding information about them. And you can also pick subtitles if you want to. Now, I'm just gonna pick the main title because that's all I'm interested in. However, you can pick all or some of the titles. So if your discs have got extras or whatever, you can pick all of them if you want. Now, I've got the destination folder at the bottom where my file is going to be copied to. And on the right, I've got the preview window. And there are also a few options, including hardware encoding, which is gonna be pretty fast, and how many of your available CPU cores you want to allocate to the task. Also, let's take a quick look at what encoding options we have. Well, I've gotta tell you, there are quite a lot. There are a number of device options, which are all tailored to your specific devices, including a one-to-one -one rip of the DVD. However, I'm just gonna choose the MP4 option as this is gonna give me the best quality and compatibility mix. Then it's simply a matter of clicking on the run button and waiting patiently. Now I'm gonna speed up this process because I don't want you to have to wait because quite frankly, this could take a while. Okay, so this took 39 minutes to rip. So it's not a huge amount of time, but it's still a fair amount of time. And if you've got a massive DVD collection to get through, it's gonna take a long time. But guys, this is not a watch and wait activity. This is a set your config, click the run button, go do something else, come back later. Now, here you can see my completed file and looking at the quality, you know what? To my eyes, it's pretty damn perfect. And the cost of this software to achieve all of this it's only $39 for an annual license. Or if you prefer to have a lifetime license and not an annually renewable license, it's $59, which I can tell you is the option that I would go for. But I'm gonna leave any discount codes and links in the description. So guys, check out the description for any discounts. And guys, this just about sums this one up. 
I've got to say, if you need to back up your precious DVDs or you want to get more organized, then this is some pretty damn useful software. And the price, well, given what it would cost to lose precious material, it's a nothing cost in my mind. So if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks to you guys for watching and thanks to Digiarty for asking me to review this MacX DVD Ripper Pro software. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and smash that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.